I want a giveaway from the Leffersons. Hi guys, I'm Libby and welcome to Punzi's Palace where I do all things Disney, hence the Punzi, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. So I want a giveaway from the Leffersons on like a total whim. It was crazy. So if you don't know the Leffersons, they are this amazing Disney couple YouTube channel. And they are just the sweetest couple. It's Alyssa and Garrett and they are so funny and so fun. They do a lot of Disney vlogs of their trips as well as Disney hauls, Magic Meal Mondays. They were holding a giveaway paired with GoPin Pro. If you don't know GoPin Pro, they are this amazing company that makes these pin bags where you can show them off, you can store your pins, but you can also trade your pins easier with these uh, little bags that they have. This is actually one of their products that all my Rapunzel pins are in back here, but it's a really good one. It's where I keep like pretty much all of my pins. It's so good for storage, but also you can display your pins. It has a backpack element, so you can wear it around the parks and trade if you want to be somebody like that. I mostly just use this one for storage, but they were holding a giveaway with the Leffersons and they were holding on YouTube and extra entries were on Instagram. And I only entered once on Instagram and I won. It was like the craziest thing ever. I was like, what? While I'm opening this package, I do have a story about the Leffersons. I've never like met them officially, but I have seen them. It was when I was down working in Disney. I wasn't working at Jungle Cruise that day that I saw them. I was actually working one of the Christmas parades during the daytime, not during one of the parties, but during the day. And I saw them pass by me and then I recognized them and I turned and I was like, that's the Leffersons. I didn't say hi and I know they want you to say hi whenever you see them at the parks and everything because they love talking to their fans and just fellow Disney lovers. The parade was about to start, so that means like I have to go do my job, but also I could tell like they were on a mission to go find a good spot. I saw on their Instagram later, they watched the parade from Frontierland. I worked in Liberty Square, so like not far away, but like I wasn't gonna really see them. They were with family for like Christmas time. I didn't wanna bother them. I was also working. Yes, I did see the Leffersons and yes, Garrett is very tall and Alyssa is very short, but they're adorable. But let's open up this package. It's in this big brown box, but it has my information on it, so I'm not gonna show you, but it's green. And there it is. She's beautiful. It's another one. Oh my gosh. I think this is, yeah, this is like the exact same. No, it's bigger. Like this one, but it has an extra storage compartment. I think that might be the center one. Yeah. It's just a storage compartment, so there's no like pages to put the pins on and everything in here. So you can put like backer cards in here. You have the front pocket, which has uh, this page, the like show page, and I like it in the green. I need to find out for this video because I'm also, while showing you the giveaway items, I will also be reorganizing my pin collection because now I have more storage. And I need to figure out what I want this to be. So it might be Jungle Cruise. And then this last one, oh, they're all green. That's so cool. The one that I have, it's just the front one is purple and then all the pages in it are black. But this one is, it's all green pages. That's so fun. This nice material where it has like stars on it and that's uh, to keep the pins from like moving around and shaking and stuff. They're nice thick pages. So you don't have to put like a pin locking back on it. You just stick it in and they're good. The only like problems I guess I've run into is like dingly pins whenever you turn the pages you just got to make sure that they're laying flat but that's that's more because I have some dangly pins Ooh, and so there's three pages in there and you can probably fit like another page or two in there and then I have this one and oh my gosh yay and this is what I was showing you is backpack so this is the pinfolio show and stow so I think that's the pro show and this is show and stow but wait there's more a little mini hipster one. This is so cute. So you open up this front compartment. I've never seen this one in person. So like, I'm gonna be really into this. And it's another one of their little foam boards where you can put some pins out and they have like cute little peas. It looks like inside out, very much inside out, reminiscent. Display some pins out that way. But then on the inside, you can also just use it as like a little like purse and put more pins or like, you know, whatever else you need. It could be like a park bag and these are your traders, but it has a little pocket and has a zipper pocket in the back. We have this. So we have two little things here. So we have 
this little chain so it can be a little crossbody. That's probably what I'm going to use it for because I am taking this to the parks and I get to go to the parks pretty soon. But you can also use it as like an actual fanny pack. And so you have this strap in there. There we go. This strap, you put it through the loops in the back there and it can be a little fanny pack. So I love the versatility of it. We love this because I don't have anything for like just my traders in the park. So this is like this is perfect. And there's some other little small goodies in there. So we have like Pinfolio Girls. It's Alex, Sydney, Julia. And we have these little items that were just like extra goodies from Go Pin Pro. Pen from them. Always need a good pen. This little pin from them. It says Pin Trading with Go Pin Pro. This, I remember Garrett showing this, which was really cool. It's this little thing, gadget says pinfolio on it like a little keychain you tap this you got some flashlights so you can see closer to your pins you also have a little magnifying glass here so you can really see pins and like any imperfections that might be on them for like authenticity purposes i just like pins that i like and if it looks good to me it looks good but i think i like this to like look closer up on some of the pins that i know are authentic and i know are really pretty just to see some of those smaller details because there's there's always so much detail on so many pins so i think this is like a cool little gadget to have so thank you so much Luffersons. thank you so much go pin pro this was an awesome giveaway and i was actually bringing all of my pins back from disney this thing was hefty it was low and it's less full now because i have pins displayed on my board here i didn't really know what to do because i was like well if we, we if we move again i'm gonna have to put a lot of these pins back in there and you know i want to keep expanding my collection i'm gonna need to get another one of these lo and behold good thing i didn't purchase yet because i got another one of them it was really awesome oh i didn't even see this i have like a water bottle on the side that's awesome. But now we're going to organize my pin collections. You'll see as I show you the pages in there, each page has like a few different collections on them. And I would like to spread it out for the ones that I am like actually like collecting a collection of. And it's not just like a few miscellaneous pins here and there. I would like them each to have like their own page. Cause then as I add more in, I'm not like, okay, I have to rearrange the whole page because I had them tucked in there very tightly. And I'm also probably going to reorganize this cork board. Let's get to that. And then at the end, I'm actually going to tally it up how many pins I have. Disney pins. I should be sp specific because I do have some Harry Potter pins and other pin buttons and stuff like that. So this is going to be all my Disney pins. So stay tuned for that. All right. So here's what we're looking at right now. So I have a Loungefly big pin in that box and one in that box. I like keeping those two in their boxes because I just think they look nice that way. And then I also have this Cinderella pin in its box, but it's problem is that so i don't know what to do with you right now so she just gets tucked over there but this is how it's organized right now so we have basically parks center this one i just love it's my big director pin but just like general parks 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 and then some like new monsters inc ones i got and kanto my little spider-man and then these are also just like new pins that i got and i wanted to see them over here we have uh the bu series and then some other new pins that I had gotten that just go with those movies. This is just a pin that I liked displayed. Oh, this was cute. This is a little spinner pin thing. We have like a cats and dogs little section up there, mostly cats. We have like Peter Pan and then Two House in Wonderlands. I just think those look pretty together. And then these are all princess pins. They aren't all of my princess pins. They were just ones from like a collection that I had a lot of, a collection that I had the ones I wanted from, that whole collection is done and then some of the castle pins and stuff like that as well as this big one because i thought that was pretty and then i also put these up because i like their backer cards but i want more space because as you can see it goes ariel ariel and then this is beauty and the beast and then also beauty and the beast and i want it to be more together so we're gonna fix that i put jungle cruise here so we're gonna have to rearrange this i have pins from this past month that i just haven't put away yet so we're gonna put those away gonna tackle this i need to actually reorganize the rapunzel one because we have a few rapunzel new ones so we're gonna need to reorganize that so let's get to it so 
here is the finished show. So I said I was going to make a Jungle Cruise because, you know, green, but I don't have that many Jungle Cruise pins. Like, I just have those six, and then I qualified these two up here as Jungle Cruise. They're not really. Uh, but I thought it would instead be like an homage to my time in Disney, where I worked in AdLib, which is Adventureland Liberty Square. So that's why I have the 50th up here, because I worked there during the 50th. So there's the castle. Mickey and Minnie in their khaki is more safari, but we wear khaki as well at Jungle Cruise. Then we have some pirates pins up there, because I love pirates, and a lot of my friends work there now. Um, and that was that's another Adventure Lane attraction. We got all our Jungle Cruise ones here. These are my three big Jungle Cruise pins and I love the backer cards for them so I wanted to keep them on there. This one I had to go over there because it matches with that and these just look cute. We have two more Pirates pins. These are little cuter ones and then we have Haunted Mansion here at the bottom which is the Liberty Square attraction. I don't have any Enchanted Tiki Room or Aladdin pins that would go with this since Magic Flying Carpets of Aladdin is technically one of them but eh, I love these three attractions like the most out of uh, when I worked there and everything and so I do have a lot of Haunted Mansion pins. So these are all of those in that one. Besides the hanging portraits, I think the hanging portrait ones, they're gonna stay up here to be displayed because I think they're a fun little element. Because I didn't want it to be overwhelmingly Haunted Mansion. I wanted Jungle Cruise to be the main focus but then all the other ones are back up. That one's done. Let's do Rapunzel. Here's the completed Rapunzel page. So I know I have some empty spots left around so it's not so like spread out, but I know myself, if I see a Rapunzel pin, I'm gonna buy it. I'm picky about them, but I'm not as picky as like a lot of other pins. So like I wanted to leave a few spaces open for possible rearranging in the future, as well as just like if I get a new little pin, I can just stick it on here and I don't have to rearrange the whole thing immediately. But there is a little rhyme or reason to this. So I have my two big ones. Those I wanted to stay in the middle and then I wanted this one to just stay at the bottom here. I liked where it was because it's her and Pascal here. I was like, well, let's make a Pascal corner because I have a lot of little Pascal pins. So he's all down here. I wanted to keep this one over here because it goes with the painting. Pascal's right there. And then I wanted to keep this one kind of here in the center as well so I went with like you know Eugene and Rapunzel the boat scenes here which then leads into just the Eugene two pins which leads into more Eugene and Rapunzel pins so that's this whole little corner and then these two pins like came in a set together so I wanted Maximus to be by him with my other Maximus little pin here I'm hoping I can get the 10th anniversary one of Rapunzel and Maximus so I could put it here I think it's like this from this series then I have these two snuggly duckling pins and I thought they would go great with the Eugene corner with Maximus so got to put those together here and then we come up here and we get into more of just like Rapunzel so had to keep this one kind of in the center because it's a very good iconic pin and then we have some like basic just Rapunzel herself pins I wanted this one to be in the center because Punzi's Palace my YouTube name that's literally what this pin is and the crown as a topper was really cute and these are my two like skinny pins here in the center a fantasy pin from Enchanted Dan and then this one from a blind box and then Mother Gothel terrible character but I do like her pins and I like her style so I wanted to have a little corner I wanted her to be over into a corner not disrupting too much of the happiness but I do have some pins of hers over here two dress pins got to put them next to each other and these are just like kind of random pins so I just put them in there to fill up the space to look nice now I'm not going to be doing any talking after doing a lot of the other ones I will just simply show you them as I finish them
So we finished reorganizing. Let's look at the board first, actually. It's gotten a bit different. We're very heavy on this side. That's on purpose. All of the princesses, all the princess pins, which is my, I think my biggest collection overall is princesses. But we go in order, of course. So Rapunzel's number one, but she has her own thing. So we have all the Ariel pins, uh, all of the Beauty and the Beast pins. And we have all Tiana's pins. I have a lot of Tiana pins. A lot more than I thought. Moana, Cinderella, Pocahontas, Mulan, Jasmine. I don't even have Jasmine in the pin. Uh, Merida. And then ran out of space there. So we just took up this little section. Aurora, Snow White, and then Frozen. And then this section in the middle, I went with still like a parks theme. Because I love my parks and I love looking at the parks pins. But these are just like other rides that I love besides my ad-lib ones, plus the three Haunted Mansion in the middle. So we kept this, and my little Fantasia Mickey, the Disneyland castle, the autograph book. Then we have Tower of Terror stuff, because I love Tower of Terror, and I love that I can display this one out here. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Expedition Everest, I also love. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I already had this one out, but I put this one out. And then the fireworks, and then Flower and Garden Festival pin. I kept just the one Oliver and Company pin. That's my really big one because I bought this one specifically because it reminds me of Jasper. So I like having that one out. And then this area is mostly empty on purpose because whenever I get new pins, I like to see them for a while. So this is going to be like the showcasing my new pins that I get for a while. And that's why it's like the new releases up here. So we have Encanto because those are like new releases. They'll eventually be put in a pin book. Don't know where, but they'll be put in one. And then Four Town Forever from Turning Red, another very new release. So this will be like my new releases section. Now as we go into this book, so this is the Adlib book, the new one. I don't have anything in the storage now. I'll do that probably off camera putting all like pin backs and stuff in there. There's a lot less pins in this book than in the other one. That one's like my main collection. These are other collections. So we have Mickey and Minnie, just miscellaneous ones up here that are very cute. I love Mickey and Minnie. This is gonna be like a Fab Five page. <laughs> I don't have a lot of the Fab Five, I guess. Uh, these are just like solo Donald pins. I have this little Dale pin. I love Goofy, but the only Goofy pins I have are this one and then my Jungle Cruise one. So <laughs> if I get more Goofy pins, he'll go on here too. Then we have our like Marvel page. So mostly Spider-Man, because I love my Spider-Man collection. And then we have miscellaneous different Marvel ones down here. Then this one is going to be Wreck-It Ralph. It's not a huge collection right now, but it did start with just this one and we've grown it quite a bit. And then this is just like the one and done kind of favorites. I don't think I will ever get another Chicken Little pin. I think that's going to be my only Mary Poppins pin. Zootopia, maybe I'll get another pin, but I'm pretty good with this. I Lava You, there's not really any other pins of it. I'm good with that one. There's not a lot of enchanted pins. I'm happy with that one. So these are like a one and done section. And then this is, I don't know why, I always associate these three movies together. Atlantis, Treasure Planet, and Hercules. Fantasy, sci-fi, and gods, I guess, go together. But Atlantis up here, Treasure Planet down here, and Hercules. Hercules, I know there's a lot more pins of, but I'm very picky with my Hercules pins, so that's why it's here. And then these two I absolutely love, but they don't have a lot of pins out, so that's why they all went on one page. Not a lot here, right? So these are like fandoms I don't care about? That, that It's mostly Star Wars is down here because I don't really collect Star Wars, but I do like my two droids. I love this pin, I just don't collect Baymax things or Big Hero 6, but I love this pin, so I wanted to still put it somewhere. Holiday pins, but they don't really go with any other collection, because I do have like some of my holiday pins in the actual collection it's from, like my Winnie the Pooh one. I don't have a Dumbo collection, I don't have a Nightmare Before Christmas collection. I could put this with my Mickey pins, but I like that it's here because then I know this is where I put my miscellaneous Halloween, this is where I'll put my miscellaneous Christmas. So that book is done and not nearly as heavy as this one. So our beautiful Rapunzel pins, I kept this book as the main collection book since most of my pins were already in here. It just meant I didn't have to move around as much. But we open it up, oh look at all this space, it's beautiful. So we have all of my Stitch pins here, Lilo and Stitch, with room to grow. Um, because I do love Lilo and Stitch so, so, so very much. And then we also have my Winnie the Pooh collection here, which has grown exponentially since being down at Disney World. We have also room to grow. Then we have this next like page front and back is like all Pixar. But on this front page, we have like my main Pixar collections that I love. 
which is up. We have Monsters Inc. And I couldn't decide which one was going to be the third one. These are my two big favorites and I love a lot of the other Pixar movies pretty equally. So it just was whichever one had more than four pins and that was Finding Nemo. It had five pins in its collection so it got to go on this page. On the back we have more Pixar but these like see Toy Story was very close. It had four pins so it got on this one. So we have Toy Story, then we have Ratatouille, which like, wow, I have three Ratatouille pins because of the ride came out. <laughs> and then pretty much one of each other thing. So we got Wally, -E, Incredibles, Bugs Life, Coco, I finally have a Coco pin, Inside Out, finally have that, Luca, we even have Luca, and Cars. So got a lot of representation for Pixar. Over here, some more small collections, but I absolutely adore, like Alice in Wonderland, Room to Grow, Peter Pan, absolutely have Room to Grow. I always associate these two movies together as well, so they had to go on the same page. And then on the back here, don't know why I associate these together, maybe because of this pin, but we have Cats and Dogs, basically, and then Emperor's New Groove, which I have a lot more Emperor's New Groove pins than I thought. I thought I had four. I have eight. That, wow. Cats and Dogs ones up here, so we have Aristocats, obviously, but then we also have Oliver and Company. Both of these are Lady and the Tramp, 101 Dalmatians, even though I got it mostly because of Roger, but there is a doggo in it. Emperor's New Groove. And then this was like an extra, like, one that I could put in the front if I wanted to, that I just have had. So I haven't used this one yet. I think I'll just, like, keep this just in case for something, but we've organized it. Now to count everything. Whew. So that was a lot, but I do love reorganizing my pins because it gives you a chance to look at all of the pins that you have and just kind of like revel in them again. And doing that, you see all the pins that you do have and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about this one. This one's so beautiful. But then you can also have a time, and I did, where you'll see a pin and you're like, mm, that doesn't spark joy anymore. So I did take about four pins out of my collection. Those will be going into my traders for when I go to the park. So I'm very excited about that. The grand total of pins that I have in my entire Disney collection is 200 and 82 because as of April 5th when I'm filming this 2022 I have 282 pins and thinking about that because I started like saying that I was going to continue really growing my pin collection just two years ago like July of 2020 and I had six pins <laughs> in total it wasn't even like I started off with like 50 and then I grew I started with six I've grown this much and I'm almost at 300 and I know when we go to the parks and I'm trading a bunch I have a feeling that I'm gonna be able to hit 300 but I'm really happy with where my collection is at right now my wish list of pins has gone down drastically from when I started so I'm so happy about that but I think my biggest collection is actually parks what I label as parks so that's just any attraction pin any like Epcot Festival pin, any 50th anniversary pin. So like this entire one, that's all Parks pins. And it's 40 that's in that collection. So that's my biggest collection. Next to that is my Rapunzel collection at 36 pins. The next biggest one is actually Winnie the Pooh with 20, which is crazy to me because before going down to Florida, I had like maybe five Winnie the Pooh pins and I really... Ooh, took off with that. There's a lot of really cute Winnie the Pooh pins, so I think that helps. And then the ones after that, I believe, are Lilo and Stitch with 16, and then it's Beauty and the Beast and Little Mermaid with 13 and 12. So they start to really dwindle after that. I think the collection that I want to grow the most is Wreck-It Ralph. I have five in that one, which isn't a lot, but it started with just like zero for the longest time, and then I got one, and now and we're getting somewhere. I just want to thank again the Leffersons for hosting such a great giveaway, being such great content creators, and for I guess randomly selecting me to win the giveaway. That was a really really nice day. Leave a comment down below. What is your biggest pin collection if you are a pin collector? And if you're not a pin collector, what was your favorite collection of mine that I showed off today? I know you didn't get to see all of the pins like really really close up, but just from a gander from afar, which was your favorite collection? And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Until next time, farewell.